This one's original to the building. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Let me get out of your way. Let's see. Beauty. Very nice. <clears throat> Inside there is the relay relay cabinet. You might see these big resistors here. You notice how it's kind of warm here? Yeah. That's yeah. how, when this thing slows down, yeah, it feeds power to those resistors. Yeah. That is awesome. So cool. It'd be nice to see this thing go somewhere, but I don't. I have, I have my doubts. Yeah, not too many people. Yeah, not too many people ride the back one. Yeah. That is so cool, though. Yeah. Yep, there's your relays. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is all of those are live, so yeah. Yeah, you never touch. And there's your drawing over there, too. Nice. There, yeah, the, the schematic. That is so cool. <clears throat> Dated August 15, 1967. That's funny I'll have an equipment inventory ID on the elevator motor. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big motor too. Really okay. big. Yeah. It's a whole lot bigger than the one in Terrell. Otis AC motor. Yep. The certificate, the inspection has it incorrect. It says it's DC and I knew it wasn't DC. This flashlight ain't doing the best. I should have grabbed my other one. You know, the one thing I was curious of is how the floor selector works in this. Because in the DC traction yeah. units, they um <clears throat> they have a mechanical selector carriage that moves up and down. And I was suspecting this probably had a similar setup. But I think it actually uses a little bit different setup. Um, now that I think about it, this, um, because yeah, there's, this is definitely different while I sort of expecting to see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because when this thing travels up and down, you'll hear distinct clicks as it, um, as it goes back and forth. Keep the camera going, going, go ahead and. Hold up my regular camera and take some pictures. Appreciate that. Well, I'll forget it again. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Get a picture of that schematic. Oh, Are you looking at the um see if it the brushes on the Well it's yeah. Well, it's AC. AC. Yeah, it's AC. Yeah, it's AC. All right. Two speed, two speed AC. All right. That's why it rides so rough. <laughs> like when you first step in and it, and it starts to go somewhere, mm -hmm. you'll you'll notice a distinctive jolt yeah. when it takes off. It goes, you know, unlike, unlike a DC or it's, modern, yeah. you know, unlike an older DC elevator or a modern day. Um, AC ma machine with variable yeah, frequency yeah. drive. Yeah. These just simply have one and two speeds. You know, speed one and speed two. So it goes. It starts out real slow and bam, <laughs> it's, it's the high speed. Waiting on this camera flash and catch up. Here we go. Man, I was hoping somebody would take this thing somewhere, uh, but I don't think. Like man, not, not too many. Yeah. People in the building. Well, it is a it is a first day of school though. The students are here. Um. Yeah.
But yeah, this is an amazing machine right here. Do not modernize this thing. <laughs> Please don't. Well, no, they're not. Do they tear it down? I heard they're, yeah, I heard those plan on tearing this building down. Yeah. You know when that's going to happen? Eventually. Yeah, I'd say within 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, this, this will definitely last until then, that's for sure. <clears throat> Man, come on, somebody take it somewhere. <laughs> If it goes somewhere, we lie with a jump. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Here it goes. Thank you. Ah, floor selector. See it. Yes. Yeah, okay, so I'm thinking somebody's getting ready to take it down. It just went up. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to take a moment to do a um, brief pause here in the video. This controller is very interesting, I have to say. Um, well, of course, this is the bottom drive Otis Elevator for 1967 or 1968. Very, very interesting design here. Even the relays in this cabinet look different than what I've seen on YouTube. You may, if you're looking, if you look carefully at the controller, um, about let's see, halfway up the image or so, a little over half, you'll see the relays, it's rows and rows of relays. Um, these relays, they, they look different than what I'm used to seeing, you know, at least from what I've seen online. Um, what else is interesting is how the floor selection works on this controller. I suspect that there's a possibility that there may be a remote floor selector in the shaft place somewhere. Now, I'm not 100 certain on that, there, but there may actually be a floor selector beyond the, um, the steel wall. Um, that shields the inner shaft where the actual um, sheave and motor are at. There might be a um, there actually might be a floor selector beyond that point. But yeah, this thing is it's really really cool. I was I was definitely surprised to, you know to see how this thing actually looked you know after hearing it so many times, but actually see it operate is 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 absolutely incredible. So yeah, let's go and continue on. The floor selector. It's right up in this area. You're really like oh yeah. Oh, that's just, that's really cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, we got to see it go somewhere at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see where the flashlight at if you don't mind. Hang on a second. Because you can, if you shine your light on the relays, a lot of times you'll see what they represent. A lot of times. Um, I, yeah, I see, I think I see the ones that are for the game call buttons. I see. Well. I see 4D, 4U, 4C, 3U, 3C, 3D. Those are some massive relays, too. And it, was, it was manufactured August 30th, 1967. Mm -hmm. Let me get a picture of that. Yeah, this ain't quite as loud as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, get a good picture of that nameplate. Very cool. All righty, Phil. Appreciate that. All right. You got everything? Yep, I got everything in my hand. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is a tour of a 1960s Otis bottom drive traction machine and controller. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.